Hi, this is a quick demo of the features in a program I call System ID. This is a death blow tracker for Xenogears. This program will track your progress toward learning death blows, and there are multiple ways to enter this information, and it will automatically update everything so you know how far you are, how close you are to learning death blows, what exactly you need to do remaining to learn that death blow, all automatically. So it's all based on single key presses as various hotkeys. To get started in the program you'd want to hit F1 to check what your hotkeys are. So there's eight, there's 16 different hotkeys. There's uh, ones for adding single points of move experience to a single kind of move. There's three hotkeys to input moves as part of a turn, and I'll explain that later. There's <coughs> um, selection hotkeys to switch between characters and individual death blows. There's a hotkey to toggle wizardry ring, and if you store it a turn, you use the hotkey to reuse that turn on one key press. Um, so, there's also some help screens for what to do in this menu. So it's all very user-friendly, and it's all dynamic, it all adapts. So like when I hit the wizardry ring, phase multiplier is normally one, so it's displaying the remaining presses needed to learn that death blow in the large white numbers <coughs> for his multiplier of one. If I turn the wizardry ring on, now his multiplier is increased by two, so it's now three. So the numbers have adjusted dynamically to, d to show you how many key press how many button presses of X and triangle one you would need, 10 and four in this case, uh, to learn with the wizardry ring equipped. The small gray numbers in the lower right are how many presses of that uh, move you would need to execute <coughs> to learn all of the phase remaining death blows <coughs> that involve any kind of experience with that move. So that if you add up all of the gray numbers, that's all Faye has to do remaining to learn all his death blows. You can scroll between characters, as I said. The graphics are a little bit screwed up for the portrait scrolling for this. That's something I plan to fix. <clears throat> so each is tracked independently. As you can see, the numbers are changing. Emeralda starts with a lot of move experience, so her numbers are very low, because she doesn't have much left to do. So if I could turn on this, like, that's her with a wizardry ring. She doesn't have a whole lot to do to learn everything. <clears throat> you can also scroll between death blows, so any death blow you haven't learned can be displayed. Um, you can enter moves with the seven hotkeys to do one point at a time, so Emerald could learn a couple points of triangle one, or she could learn that and then a point of X. So you could do just one tap at a time, or you can enter a full turn of moves. So let's say I go back to Faye. I want to learn uh, triangle X, so let's type in triangle and X, and hit enter because I don't want to use all seven AP on this time because I'm early in the game. So that's my turn. So I just added that turn as move experience, and if I continue to do that by using the reuse turn key, it will just keep adding those turns. And it will, as you see, it's the X button still flashing, so it's continuing to add move experience of X, even though Raijin doesn't require anymore. And once you've learned that, it will say, okay, you learned Raijin, now move on to Senretsu. You could also scroll between them, say I want to learn Hagen now. Let's store a turn of square, 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 and use that. Now I'm going to gain two points of square one each time, so reuse that a few times. Now I've learned Hagen, but Senrez is still there. I can't scroll to, to Hagen anymore. That's where the bulk interface comes in. If you hold shift while you press a hotkey for one of the seven moves, it will allow you to add or subtract move experience for that. So I could do minus 10 on triangle one, and now suddenly he needs 14 instead of four. So you can back up. And if you add something to a move that you already learned death blow in, like if I subtract 10 points from square one, now I can go to Hagen again because the game knows that I have, I've gone back to not having learned that. Um, so turns are stored for each character individually. It's like once I go back to Faye, he's got his three square turn saved. And I go to Ellie, she doesn't have a turn saved yet. You can also reset all progress. Um, that has like several confirmations on it. It will eventually, it doesn't right now. So if you press F12, it will reset everything uh, back to as if you were doing a new game. So be careful with that button. Eventually it will have confirmation on it <coughs> so you don't accidentally press it. It also auto saves constantly. So if you were to close the program and then reopen it, it will keep the progress as if you never closed the, the tracker. So now Faye still has his stored turn even though I closed the program. He still has all the same move experience. Um, 
keybinds also auto save so everything you do is saved constantly with this and it's just designed to be very lightweight and facilitate playing the game without really having to worry about keeping track of your death blow progress hope you all enjoy using it thanks take care